Today we're going to program the set point on a model 1575E conductivity controller. Uh, when you first approach the controller, this is probably the process screen you're going to see. By pressing the arrow keys up and down, you'll notice that the screen changes, and that's because the second half of the screen is a descriptor of what else is going on in the controller. It allows you to see what's going on in the controller without accidentally changing anything. So as you, as you can see, when you walk up to it, you may not see any one of these screens in particular, but one of these screens will be present. All right, so to change the set point, what we're going to do is press the clear key, and that allows us to get to the main menu. Now, the set point's a relay control, so plain English, what we want to do is go down to relays. Now, you can use the arrow key to scroll down to it, like I just did, or you can press the number of the menu item, and it'll go to it as well. The blowdown relay is the set point we're going to mess with. So you can highlight blowdown and hit enter. We're going to go by set point. And now we're going to actually enter the set point number, which is item number one. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and change it to 2000. Now that is not the number you may be using. You need to contact your chemical water treater, and he'll establish the set point you want to control at. But for our purposes, this is what we're going to use. Once you've entered the number numerically, you don't use the arrows to scroll up and down, unlike some other controllers. This time you enter it numerically, and you press the enter, and now the cursor will progress to the next screen. Now in this case, I have a 100 dead band. Now what the dead band does, it is allows the controller to not slam the uh, solenoid valve open and close. As an example, if I had it set for 2000 and it went to 2001, it would open it, and if it went down to 1999, it would close it. So you don't want to do that. So we put a dead band in there, and the dead band splits, meaning now it'll climb to 2050, or it'll drop down to 1950. So it'll climb to 2050 before it comes on, and it'll drop down to 1950 before it turns off, giving us a little wider control area. Press Enter, and it enters it. Now, this is the alarm control. So this is set for an hour. Let's say we set this for 30 minutes. Well, what happens here? The blowdown doesn't shut off, but what it says is, normally I should blow down much faster and be done quicker, but if I take longer than 30 minutes, I want that alarm light to come on. Um, an example, a solenoid valve may be stuck. So you want to know that you're taking an extremely long time to reach your set point. It does not affect the operation of the relay. The relay is going to continue to operate. It doesn't shut down anything else on the controller, but it does let you know that an alarm condition occurred. Press the enter to enter it. Now you're back to your main screen. You press clear all the way out to your process, highlight process, enter, back to your main screen, and that's all.